Hi and welcome back to Scotty's Tech.info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus. And last week's video was about how to clean out a desktop computer, how to dust the inside of a desktop computer. So of course everyone said, but what if I have a laptop? Okay, so a couple things about laptops. They are obviously much thinner and lighter than a desktop computer. So uh, they have much smaller fans and heat is kind of more of the enemy of a laptop than it is of a desktop because a desktop has a huge internal volume of air. Obviously a laptop that's like this thick, somehow it has to suck cool air in someplace, circulate the air around inside, uh, the air goes through a cooling fan inside and then gets shot out a vent, usually in the side. So um, you should probably clean your laptop out just like your desktop uh, at least twice per year, sometimes more often if you have a lot of dust, fuzz, animal hair, that sort of thing. I usually do mine twice a year. Um, okay, so I have an, an HP laptop here. It's an HP ProBook 4540 or something. I'm going to use it as the example. Uh, again, when you're cleaning out a laptop, as with a desktop computer, uh, you can use compressed air, you can use an air compressor, you can use one of these blowers. Um, for laptops, I still usually use one of these cans of compressed air because uh, they have this cute little little pipe and laptops are smaller and it's you don't really need quite as much air and as much air pressure and it's just kind of easier to do. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to look at your laptop and this is the front of the laptop and what you want to do is basically figure out where it's sucking the air in and where it's spitting it out. Now in this one, on the front edge of the laptop here, you have these vents and you can see the vents so obviously it's sucking the cool air in the bottom front of the laptop and then it's going to blow air out somewhere, usually on the sides or on the back and in this case the back is the battery so this one actually blows the air out this vent right here. So we'll see, we can get a nice close-up of this vent. You can see inside there are like little fins. They're usually aluminum or copper, typically copper. And that's the vent where the hot air comes out. So all you're going to do is first you find that vent. It's either on the back of the laptop or the side, one of the sides. That's where the heat comes out. You'll be able to feel it. All you're going to do is Take your air blaster and go. There you go. Now you notice some dust shot out. Um, you don't really have to worry quite so much about these fans spinning up and ruining the bearings. Even though the fans inside laptops are usually very small and very thin, um, they typically run a little bit faster or they can spin up a lot faster because laptops are so thin and light. Uh, these little fans in here are pretty robust, so I've never had a problem with destroying a fan by using a can of compressed air. Um, so anyway, you just you spray out the output vent, <clears throat> and then the second thing you're going to do is spray out these intake vents here. And uh, yeah, that's it. You're pretty much done. Find, you know, power the laptop on, feel where the heat's coming out, uh, then turn it off completely first and then spray the output vent first, the intake vent second, and you're done. Now, of course, yeah, all laptops vary. So it may be that the vents on your laptop where the, the intakes, they could be on the front, they could be on the side. Some laptops actually emit or, or they, they either emit heat or they suck cool air in through the keyboard even. Um, but the, the output vent this guy, that's the one you want to be the most concerned about. I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, so that's the easy way. You just blast the vents. You're done, right? Um, make sure the laptop is off when you do this so the fan is not spinning. Okay, so what if that doesn't work? Because like a couple years ago, a friend gave me his laptop, I cleaned it out, I powered it up again, and the fan was still noisy and it was still it was overheating so much that uh, the whole computer would just shut down it would say you know CPU overheat condition system halted or if the fan is making noise what do you do then um, this is the part that gets a little bit hairy because what you're gonna have to do is actually take the laptop apart you have to take the laptop apart and get in and look at the cooling fan or cooling fans 
and find out if usually what happens there's dust and fuzz that gets kind of clogged up in these little kind of little wads of like fuzzy dusty stuff and that can actually block the fan blades completely the problem with this advanced cleaning is that as I say you're going to have to usually remove the bottom case of the laptop that varies depending on the the vendor and model of your laptop now the cool thing is that with YouTube these days what you can do is you hop on YouTube you type in like like this is an HP ProBook 4540 you can just type HP ProBook 4540 uh, disassembly or RAM replacement or fan clean just do a search on YouTube and like 99 times out of 100 you're gonna actually find a YouTube video where somebody goes and they walk you through exactly what screws to remove what order to remove them in uh, do you need a spudger tool it's gonna get a little hairy but uh, you should be able to find a guide online that shows you exactly how to do it but you still have to be a little bit brave fortunately this laptop is actually very simple to open as I shall demonstrate with this laptop all you have to do is push these tabs the battery pops off you push the tabs again and this whole bottom panel comes off uh, that's actually one of the reasons this is a nice laptop so here you have stuff this is the Wi-Fi card this is the hard drive this is the optical drive in here uh, there you have the RAM and under here you've got a, a cooling fan here and it looks like the CPU is right here so now obviously if you look at this very closely here you can see possibly through right here you might be able to see the the little fins of the cooling fan <clears throat> but it's kind of hard to see so let me take some of these screws out uh, it's also very handy to have a pair of tweezers which I have somewhere here I get my tweezers so Come on, little guy. Save that screw. Then we're going to take this screw off. And all I'm doing here is just removing this metal cage. And of course, I've done this before because um, I used to have a laptop like this myself. So uh, it's not terribly difficult. Ah, I'm missing a screw right in front of me. Now you can kind of pop this guy out and grab that screw that I missed there. Now you can see you have this little cooling fan here and as you can see it's pretty dusty. So what what happens sometimes, now this is, this is the vent on the side, the output vent, and that's the fan. So what's actually happening here is uh, this is the actual processor and this little copper colored thing is called a heat pipe. So what happens is this guy actually absorbs the heat and conducts it over to your output vent over here and then this fan is spinning and what he's actually doing is sucking cool air in the vents in the front of the case these guys he's going to suck air in the vents from the front of the case it's going to circulate it through and then the air is going to go get sucked in here and then it's going to blow across those fins here and the fins are there because this heat pipe is actually carrying heat away from the processor and graphics chip this one doesn't have a dedicated graphics chip um, so this guy's going to pull the heat away from the processor slash integrated graphics to the heat sink fins on here and this guy is going to suck the cool air in which cools everything inside off and then he blows the already slightly warmed air through the fins here to keep the processor cool and in that way you don't have to have a fan sitting directly on top of the processor and or the graphics chip and that way you can keep the whole thing cool but as I said what typically happens is if you do the simple cleaning you blast here you blast the vents it doesn't work what you may find is you may open it up and this is a little dusty so you can just kind of blast that off sometimes what happens is you'll need to undo these individual little screws here which are super teeny tiny you're gonna need little micro screwdrivers and a pair of tweezers 
you can usually undo these screws, take this metal piece off, and then what you'll usually find is if the fan doesn't rotate freely, there's fuzz like inside here. And so you take the cover off, you, you pull the little blobs of fuzz out, uh, give it another blast with air, and then you're good to go. Now, as I say, that's kind of advanced cleaning. You have to look up the YouTube video. Um, sometimes it's very difficult to take these things apart. In one case, uh, I had to take a laptop apart, and in order to get at the cooling fan, I had to undo screws on the bottom, flip it over, open it up, remove the keyboard, undo screws on the top, close it, flip it over again, um, remove the bottom case, undo more screws, flip it over, open it up, remove the top case, and actually completely remove the motherboard before I could actually get at the fan to clean it. So it can be very difficult. That's why I say, you know, look on YouTube, find a video, and if it looks like it's super hard, uh, just take it in someplace and have it done if you're not brave enough. Um, if you've never done this before, it, yeah, it can get a little hairy, and if you don't totally know what you're doing, you might actually break something. But normally, you take your can of compressed air, as I said, you blow the, the output port, the intake ports, and if you do that a couple times a year, you're going to be fine. Usually you don't have to do this advanced cleaning unless it's like, say, you know, a laptop that's two, three years old and you've never, ever cleaned it before. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, for more techie tips, see scottystech.info. Thanks for watching. See you next time.